Welcome to this Sage Business Cloud Accounting demo. In this video, you will be shown how to process credit notes for customers and vendors in Sage Accounting. Credit notes offer a convenient way of issuing credits to customers or recording credits received from vendors. Whether you're processing a customer or a vendor credit note, it can either be created from an existing invoice or bill, or as a standalone transaction. Let's first look at how to record a credit note from an existing sales invoice. From the Sales tab, select Sales Invoices. Select the invoice that you would like to issue a full or partial credit for. Notice that the invoice includes six hours of lawn maintenance. On the right hand side, click Add a Credit Note. Note that this option is only available for invoices that have not been paid. A new Sales Credit Note window has now appeared. Most of the fields here populate with information from the original invoice. You can see the customer, products and services, quantity, prices and additional transaction detail. The date defaults to today's date. To include the original invoice number on the document, you may enter it as a reference. If you would like to issue a credit for the entire invoice, you do not need to change anything. However, if the credit is for a portion of the invoice only, you may modify the quantity. In this case, the customer was originally billed for six hours of lawn maintenance. If it was a mistake and they should have only been billed for four hours, then we could change the quantity to two. If needed, adjust the discount percentage. Since we're not granting a credit for the second line, we will remove it from the credit note. Like with an invoice, you may then save the transaction as a draft if it is not yet ready to be saved. If it is ready, you can simply save it or save it and email it or print it. In this case, we select Save and Email. Just like with a sales invoice, confirm the email details and click Send. If we go back to the same invoice, we can see that the amount outstanding has been decreased by the amount of the credit note. Let's now look at how credit notes can be issued as a standalone transaction. This second option is convenient if the credit note is not linked to a specific invoice. From the Sales menu, click Sales Credit Notes. Then, click New Credit Note. The fields here are similar to the fields you would find on a sales invoice. We select a customer, a date, and we update the reference, address, and delivery address as needed. Select an item that was returned by the customer, or simply type a description for the credit, as well as the ledger account, a quantity, and a price or rate. If you select a stock, the quantity entered will increase your quantity on hand. Confirm or update the notes and shipping. The total amount will be credited to the customer. As usual, save the credit note and print it or email it to the customer. Credit notes for vendors follow a similar pattern. If you receive a credit note from a vendor that is specific to one bill, it can be created from the bill. From the Expenses tab, we select Vendor Bills. Click on the bill you have received a credit note for. Once the bill is displayed on the screen, click Add Credit Note. Note that this option is only available for bills that have not been paid. Update the date and additional information is required. If the credit note is for the entire bill, we can simply click Save. However, if it is for a portion of the bill, we update the quantities. In this case, we have returned one bag of soil which was damaged and we've obtained a credit note for it. Let's update the quantity. Since we did not obtain a credit for the second line, we'll remove it. If you have an electronic copy of the vendor credit note, it can also be linked as an attachment. When you're ready, click Save. Finally, if you have received a credit note from a vendor that is not specific to a bill, it can be recorded as a standalone transaction. From the Expenses tab, click Vendor Credit Notes, then New Credit Note. Select the vendor, the date and the reference number, as provided by the vendor. Enter details about the credit note and confirm the ledger account, quantity, price and tax information. If you wish, you can also insert an attachment. When you're finished, click Save. Congratulations, you now know how to create and manage credit notes in Sage Business Cloud Accounting.